Okay, the old week one, the week two thing. Yeah. Obviously, improvements need to be made. Yeah. Where do you start in the improvement department to be better in week two than week one? Yeah, penalties. How about don't beat yourself? Mm -hmm. And so, a lot of discussion Friday about the 12 penalties for 105 yards. You can't beat yourself like that. A lot of discussion about focus and, and discipline and finish. Um, and doing the right thing, and being a big team player. Um, so we're doing a lot of introspective work on that right now. And so, you know, we, we just had a hard time handling our quarterback. We get him in third down, third long, we couldn't get off the field on defense. And so a lot of it, a lot of it, we weren't lined up right or we didn't play technique right and gave them some escape lanes. And so we got to be better at, at, at third down, getting off the field. And, um, you know, go from there and you know, kicking game, we got to score points. We can't give up points. Before the first half, we worked that drill all the time. You know, and we got to manage the clock without timeouts, and we didn't do it right. And uh, I almost, with 11 seconds left, I almost, we didn't have any timeouts left. I almost said, forget it, we're just going to kick it right now. But Dylan said, we can get a shot in. I said, you sure you'd be good? Oh, yeah. And the minute Drake started stammering around in there, he's waiting for somebody to come clear, I said, should have kicked it. So I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> and so sometimes you got to listen to the little birdies talking to you. But, um, you know, and that, and that overtime was strange. I, I had looked at the clock and it was third and 15. They were on the 15, and I said, okay, they got to get in the end zone. And we get down there on the fourth down and we stop them, fourth and short. And I, I think we're off the field. We're not. They got a first down. So, like, it was always a yard short for a first down. And, uh, you know, when I looked at the clock, I didn't see because the chains were so far back off to the back. So we had to go back into first and goal, you know, from the one and shut them down three times in the quarterback wedge. And then they ran, the, you know, they were all route from a motion, and that's what everybody does, and we should have went with it and covered it. And we didn't. We made a mistake on it and, bu and busted the coverage. Um, so... All those things about, you know, don't don't give your opponent an advantage to beat yourself. We we did we got to get better at. It. And so, uh, what we've been talking about, like I mentioned earlier, is just you know, there's a lot more discipline and a lot more what we got to do. You know, there's two kinds of penalties. There's there's a decision penalty, which you learn from and don't repeat, and then there's selfish penalties, personal fouls things like that, and we'll just take away playing time. And so that's where we're at with that. And um, so yesterday we had one penalty on both sides of the ball, and so today we better not have any. Give me some positives. Drake, by the numbers, appeared to play well. Yeah, yeah. We, we had good numbers. I mean, we rushed for almost eight yards of carry. They rushed for like 2.7. Uh, we won the takeaway. We didn't have any turnovers. I was really happy to see that. We got one. Um, the positives, we're finally at a point since we've been here that, you know, the physicality of things, you know, when, when we hit people now, we got, a, we got a chance to leave a mark or dent them a little bit. Or we haven't been like that. So the part of, of the culture of being physical in the game of football at this, at this level we're starting to be a member of it as far as the hitting goes and the contact. And so that's good to see. Because if you can't match up physically and you can't hit and, and put people down, yeah, you're, you're playing smoke and mirrors all the time. And we've done that. Um, but now, you know, we're getting to the arena where that's got to pay off for us and help us. And, we, and at the same time, we can't break. So uh, I feel good about that. Um, you know, I thought the backs the backs were good. We ran the ball well. You know, people were mad about the um, the Wildcat playing overtime where we didn't handle the ball. But that play, that same play that we ran, went for about 70 you know, earlier in the game. So, and it was there on film. We just didn't handle the ball, and that that hurt us. And so, we got to finish. We got to finish, and, and on offense, we got to finish and do those things. There's some good things on offense. Um, 
I'd like to get Searsaw involved more than we have uh, last week. Um, so we've got some wideouts that we got to get back and play here. And, and on defense, we've got to get off the field on third down. We can't create penalties. You know, we just can't have that. Um, played some new people. We've made some personnel adjustments too after the game. And it wasn't because a player was uh, performing terrible. It's just because some of the players that we're playing at some of the positions don't quite have the quickness or speed that we need at a position. So we've, we've done some move some people around and hopefully get an advantage there and get better with some speed on the field for us. This week's opponent. Good, good team. Uh, everybody, you know, if you were here last year, you know what happened. We played as, about as bad as you can play. They played excellent. They're a really good football team. They beat East Texas, uh, East Texas Baptist by a big margin last week. Uh, they scored over 50 points on them, so uh, they're a really good football team. Um, I, when you play the Wisconsin State League, you can throw out the Division III uh, label because really those schools, they operate like a D2 program and they get the players that can play at D2. You know, we, we, recruit, we recruit against them quite a bit when we're down in, in Wisconsin. So um, they're a good football team. I don't care if they were NAI, I don't care that they're D3 or D2 or one to play, they're a good football team. They're physical, they got good players coming back from last year's team. I like the Berg Hammer kid, the, the quarterback. He hurt us last year. We've got to be able to get, you know, we've got to be able to handle him and not let him do what he did last year against us because he'll run on you and he's a very accurate thrower. And so we've got to cover well and not give him, we can't give him second chances. If you get, you get him behind the line of scrimmage and you let him go and he can improvise, he can hurt you. So you got to get him down if you get to him behind the line of scrimmage. You can't let him flush on you and do things out in the open. Um, uh, I like their backs. Peter McCudden's there. DJ Stewart's playing for him, who played for us last year. He transferred there, and he's got a pretty good role there. Um, and he's got speed, so we know him. Um, uh, I like their, their tight ends. They replaced a real good one, but they have nice tight ends back again, nice big players. That they're good at blocking, and they're still talented enough to go out and open up and run routes and do some damage and got good ball skills. Good tight end group. Um, and they have those two receivers back that, that were really good against us last year. Number 11, Steger, and, and, and Teslaff, number 16. So they're, 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 we're going to have to play good. we got to play good. And, um, but we're looking forward to it. They got a new coach. Um, coach Jan Jennings took over uh, this summer. And uh, Coach Cerrone retired and went down south. And, um, so their defense is still the same. Their offense is going to be different than it was last year. Uh, it's it's because he was the OC at Whitewater, so we've had to look at Whitewater film and we've had to just look at these Texas Baptist game and and kind of kind of look into a crystal ball and, and defend ghosts. You know, I've always said if you're a good coach, you know, during the week you, you got to be able to look around the corner and see what's coming at you, and you do that as best you can. And some people call it defending ghosts, but, you know, there's some things that um, we'll have to adjust to. We know what they did against East Texas Baptist. It was a 4-2-5, so, you know, we're not that, that scheme, so there'll be adjustments in there and, and try to figure out what they want to do.